Hello everyone, my name is Mark Oude Aling. I am the chair of the Best Paper Committee of the IEEE Custom Integrated Circuit Conference or CICC. In this video, we'll give you a sneak preview of some of the best papers at CICC 2022. After two fully virtual years, CICC will be held in a hybrid form from April 24 to April 27 with the physical part located in Newport Beach, California. For the latest information on the conference, please visit the address shown on the screen. It is my honor and privilege to show you pitches of some of our best paper nominees in three different categories. We have five invited, three regular and nine student paper nominees spread out over the different sessions in the conference. In this particular compilation, we will present the following pitches. The session numbers and the currently planned time and date of the presentation are included for your reference. For completeness, here is the full list of nominated papers. All best paper nominees are explicitly indicated as such in the conference program. They have been given non-overlapping time slots, so you can attend them all if you like. These 17 papers form a good sample of recent research results from both industry and academia around the globe and showcase the quality, breadth and depth of the CSC conference. Please join us for a great gathering of students, researchers, industrial leaders and experts worldwide. Get inspired by great ideas, get recharged with great educational tutorials, learn about trends and state-of-the-art developments in IC design. And just as important, meet colleagues and make new friends for life. For now, enjoy these inspiring pitches, and I hope to see you either physically or virtually at CICC 2022. Hi everyone, welcome to the highlight of our paper, focusing on system level design and integration of a prototype augmented reality virtual reality hardware for codec avatars. AR-VR devices aim to connect people in the metaverse with photorealistic virtual representations called codec avatars. Here, we show two users having a realistic conversation in a virtual environment while their facial expressions are captured with sensors in their VR headsets. Throughout the video, you'll be seeing the codec avatar of one of our authors on the left-hand side, performing various facial expressions. Generating a codec avatar in real time requires a high visual performance, which is challenging for mobile SOCs since AR-VR devices have limited power and area constraints. In this work, we present a custom-built, small-scale mobile SoC that achieves energy-efficient performance for running a part of the facial expression encoding block of the codec avatar model. The test chip is integrated on a prototype mobile VR headset for demonstration purposes. The eye gaze extraction model is based on convolutional neural networks and is offloaded to the presented chip to run inference. The test chip is fabricated in 7 nanometer technology and it features a neural network accelerator consisting of 1024 multiply accumulate units, a 2 megabyte on chip SRAM, and a 32 bit RISC V CPU. In this work, we show integration considerations for the whole design stack, combining application level constraints, hardware oriented model customizations, and circuit level accelerator design to achieve energy efficient performance at the system level. The test chip consumes 22.7 milliwatts power to process the entire CNN within 16.5 milliseconds for one eye per frame to meet the 30 FPS target for both eyes. As a result, the presented mobile SOC achieves 375 microjoules energy efficiency per eye per frame within roughly 2.5 meter square silicon area. You can find more information in our paper and in the presentation during the conference. Thank you. Hello, I'm Ziyong Li from KAIST. Here is my research on a high-quality, Full HD super-resolution mobile accelerator SOC. Super-resolution is a popular-used image preprocessing application held on camera ISP or mobile GPU. However, SRCNN on mobile suffers from large resolution data transactions, and each pixel of a frame requires high precision for image quality which directly results in the large computation and memory access power. It will further occupy the CPU or GPU's power and bandwidth resource. Therefore, low power, high efficiency cell processor is needed. Here's the overall architecture of the post SR SOC. Our first contribution is applying hybrid AB precision, dividing non-sparse 16-bit data into the dense fixed AP group and the super sparse floating point group. Proposed hybrid precision can achieve higher quality and more energy efficiency than previous work. 
Our first hardware key feature is heterogeneous hybrid precision accelerating architecture. Considering the dense fixed point group and 90% zero super sparse floating point group, and a 40 historic CNN accelerating units, and a sparsity exploit SIMD array is designed. Second, a hierarchical memory subsystem to optimize the data access pattern. We reduced the total cache size and access rates according to the data lifetime. As a result, we can reduce the on-chip memory access power with smaller frequent accessing L1 cache. Thanks to those features, 43% and 66% of the total energy is reduced. Thank you for your listening. Welcome to this presentation. My name is Francesco Buccoleri, and this paper presents a fractional and digital PLL with a background calibrated frequency quadrupler achieving 72 femtoseconds total integrated jitter. Digital PLLs are becoming attractive solutions for the implementation of high spectral purity local oscillators, as they can provide a better compromise between our occupation, power consumption, and performances with respect to analog PLLs. However, while in analog PLLs the spot noise and jitter are only limited by the oscillator phase noise, in digital PLLs the frequency granularity of the digitally controlled oscillator induces an additional quantization noise bump in the out-of-band spectrum. This paper introduces two dedicated techniques to efficiently suppress the quantization noise and to reduce the phase noise of the oscillator. To suppress the quantization noise, we propose an oversampling based on a quadrupler which consumes a much lower power with respect to previous solutions, as it is made with a cascade of two simple doublers. A correct suppression is guaranteed by a new digital period averaging calibration which shifts the four edges of the sigma delta clock to obtain a perfect multiplication by four. To further reduce the phase noise, we implemented a multiple PLL combination with a dedicated circuit denoted as true in phase combiner. This circuit guarantees a 3 dB DCO phase noise reduction without impairing the amplitude of the output signal. Differently from prior solutions, this technique also reduces the impact of other PLL noise sources, such as the ones of the digital to take converter and phase detector. Thanks to these two techniques, we were able to implement a digital fractional n band band PLL in 28 nanometer CMOS, achieving above state of the art out of band phase noise with an integrated jitter of 72 femtoseconds, including spurs. Thank you.